Good morning, we're standing here on Gower Road. I'm about to show you around a rather lovely one bedroom, first floor apartment in Vale House, which is this ultra modern block that was built back in 2016. I actually own one of these myself in here. I bought this as a long-term rental investment, uh, which is also a one bedroom flat and I'm getting 1100 pounds a month for that. Um, so if you're looking at this as either a first time buyer or a long-term investor or someone that just wants a little lock up and go, this is absolutely ideal. So let me tell you a bit about it. So we've got a first floor flat. They're bigger than average. They're 520 square feet. Uh, so very generous. What you've also got, if I just walk to the end of the block here, uh, we've got a proper gated car park here uh, with an allocated parking space. And you've got a remote control to get it in and out of there. Being this close to the town centre, um, you do want secure parking or certainly parking where no one can just come and dump their car and go. But as you go into the car park, just there to the right of the block, it's the first space on the right. But just so you know where we are, we are literally off, uh, well, this is the cut through from Gower Road through to Sussex Road. That's Stockwell Court, the block of flats there. Um, and the main shops are literally behind these buildings next door. So that is the South Road shops. So come and have a look around. Um, you've got the tire place opposite. So if you want a few landmarks, and there's the public car park directly behind. Um, the developers, when they built the uh, block, they always were trying to get more flats in here. And they have actually got planning to build, uh, I think another three uh, flats on the top of the building um, at some point. There's no real plans to do that, but uh, that is something that will happen. Obviously it won't affect you because you're not, uh, I've got one of the top floor flats. I'm not bothered about it. I don't know why anyone else would be, but at some point there's going to be some scaffolding and some building work, um, but all pretty straightforward. So there's uh, three little entrances to the building. This is the entrance you're coming in. So they've got your post boxes outside. Obviously this just serves five of the flats. I've wedged the front door just so I can get in and out easy enough, but it is a proper entry phone system to get into the block. So there's just uh, five of the flats in this part of the building. Come and have a look. Uh, those bags are actually our clients' bags, um, but they were in the hallway as they just got back from their travels. So come inside, number six. Um, one thing I, will, I do love about this building is it is very, very well managed. The Hunters Group maintain it. Um, there's not a great deal of external maintenance to do because it's mainly brickwork. So we don't have huge charges. The charges are actually only a thousand pounds a year. So uh, very low. Right, first things first. In the entrance hall, one thing you will see is the standard of finish is partly why I bought this flat myself, uh, my flat in the building myself, is the standard finish is fantastic. All these doors, the joinery, it's just a, a, a different level to an average block of flats. You've got engineered oak flooring throughout. Um, I won't, I'll try not to open all these cupboards, but you've got a great big storage cupboard there. That's all shelved out. And then we've got a utility cupboard. So that's got the plumbing for the washing machine. The owners put all this extra shelving in. And then come in the bedroom first, lovely big bedroom. Great big double bedroom in here. And this one has actually got two lots of double wardrobes in here as well. So really lovely. These are, the, look at these radiators. They put these cast iron radiators throughout as well, which is just nice. Yeah, the developer could have saved a fortune. They're timber frame windows and double glaze. So again, not cheap to do, but they did a nice finish. And those wardrobes are very deep. So tons of storage. Bathroom next door. Look at this. Again, sorry, they're all on, on fire door slammers. You can disconnect those. Look at this bathroom. They have fully tiled the bathrooms. You've got this nice towel rail here. There is an extractor, but again, proper shower over the bath. And look at, look at the taps in the wall. Just a, this is like being in a hotel. So really, really nice finish. And then the living area, this. I think the bedrooms and the bathrooms are beautiful in these, but then you come in here and look at this living area. This is really nice. So you've got a balcony. Before I show you on the balcony, I'm gonna show you the kitchen. So they're ultra high gloss kitchens. These are solid granite worktops, really nicely done. And he puts Siemens appliances in the, the developer. He's only a small developer that built these. So you've got a Siemens oven and hob. Uh, that's a uh, um, induction hob, even a Siemens uh, microwave combination oven. And of course a fridge freezer there. And I believe it's, am I right saying? Yeah, little slimline dishwashers there. Obviously you've got the utility cupboard, but look, even these sinks, all stainless steel, inset into the granite. So really, really nice. And then as you can see, plenty of room for a, a lounge area there and plenty of room for a decent dining table 
and you've got a balcony. So a bit of outside space. This is the car park I was telling you about. Um, you, uh, I don't think you can buy a permit for it, but it is cheap parking as the town centre. And that alleyway down the side of that building goes straight through to South Road. So the building on the right is the Nationwide, and I think the building on the left is actually the Poundland shop. Um, but obviously there's plenty of spare parking if you've got lots of guests coming here. And literally, top of that, top of the car park, you're straight over into Victoria Park. So if you want some open space, you've got that. Hospitals with an easy walk. The railway station, according to Google Maps, is 0.8 of a mile. Um, and a few other little bits of housekeeping to tell you, we're on a mega lease here. So we've got a 999 year lease. That's another reason why I bought the flat. So you're never gonna have to worry about a lease extension. The ground rent is 250 quid a year, and that is reviewed every 20 years. So we're not uh, due another review until the f uh, 2035, I believe, is the actual year that starts. So actually all good news are from that point of view. And you've got low service charges. So there you go. That is flat six Vale House. It's for sale through Mansell McTaggart in Haywards Heath. Hope you found the video helpful. Um, you took into account the parking space. Obviously having a town centre block is rare to have parking nowadays. But there you go. That's six Vale House. I hope you're impressed. Do let us know if you'd like to have a look.